All right, welcome back. Uh, Doug Fernandez, Herald Tribune columnist, joins us now. Doug and I were both at the Manatee game against number one in the nation, Don Bosco Prep. Uh, kind of an ugly game if you like offense, huh? Right, it was a great atmosphere. I was there about 4.30. There was music playing, shirts being sold, typical Friday night light sort of atmosphere. But you're right, if you're looking for a score of 40 to 30, you didn't yeah. get it. Both teams' defensive lines control this game. What it came down to was basically Manatee's punter, uh, Nick Tankersley, uh, dropped a snap, led to a field goal, had another snap go over his head, led to a touchdown, and that was pretty much it. I think Manatee showed in the loss to only a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. and the loss to uh, Don Bosco that they can compete on a national stage, and this is going to help them going forward right. in the season. Well, I was going to say, no time to panic, really, for Manatee. These, are just, these games mean nothing, and they're going to be there when it counts against the local teams. They'll be there when it counts, but uh, when you look at the yardage, uh, they had 28 yards rushing, 164 passing. Don Bosco had 101 rushing and 110 passing. It, it really was something to watch Bosco's line dominate uh, Manatee's offensive line. Manatee's offense couldn't do anything. Once again, Manatee loses to the number one team in the nation, Don Bosco Prep. Other big winners tonight, Venice huge over Riverview, Palmetto huge over Braden River. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for joining us on Subway Friday Football Fever. And more news and weather coming up.